Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight has been married more times than any other comedian nine times. I, I didn't know this. It's kind of shocking, but uh, let's get him out here. Please welcome Rich Hall. <laughs> I've been married nine times. No, see, I didn't, I, 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 I've known you for a while, and I never knew that. Well, I don't like to talk about it too much. I've made a lot of mistakes, Conan. A lot of mistakes. I can hear you. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right Why here. Why am I talking so loud? <laughs> I don't know. This one's going to work. This is my ninth marriage, and uh -huh. uh, stare all you want, ladies. It ain't for sale anymore. <laughs> Somebody got lightning in a bottle. What? All right. What are you babbling about? Well, this is the ninth time, and this is a keeper, you know. Uh-huh. I'll tell you what's wrong. This is, I've made some mistakes, and this is what happens when you fall in love. This is advice for everybody, okay? And take it from me, I know of which I speak. When you fall in love, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm yelling. When you fall in love, uh -huh. right before you fall, when you're a guy, and right before you fall in love, right before you say, all right, this is it, I'm going to fall in love, you know, a little gremlin. A little gremlin gets on your shoulder, and it says, Hey, take advantage of her insecurities, and you can trick her into loving you. But then this good gremlin gets on this shoulder, and it says, No, try to, try to understand her insecurities, and you can win her love. And I always try to listen to the good gremlin, you know. Because I'm looking in the mirror, I always get it backwards, right? <laughs> and I always get the, the bad gremlin. You pick the wrong one. I always well, get the crap well, gremlin. Well, what's the, what's, I mean, do you, nine, nine wives, ex wives do you still speak to them, or? They all love me. They all love me. I get along with every one of them, Conan. Do you know why? Why? I've never been married. This is a complete <laughs> lie. <laughs> this just seemed like a really funny idea when I came out here. Uh -huh. But How it does <laughs> I've never been married. Uh-huh. I am so unmarried. But you know what? Do you I do know a little bit about the truth. This is what I know about love and romance. There's love and there's romance, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is for everybody. There's a lot of couples out there that look really desperate, and I'm here to help you right now. Mm -hmm. Love is telling a woman the truth, okay? And, and romance is telling her what she wants to hear. You know, and you got to know when she's fishing for love and when she's fishing for romance, you know? Okay, that's good advice. Yeah. So, like, if she says, you know, like, uh, hey, you know, uh, these jeans make me look fat, you know, that's not a good time to tell the truth, you know. <laughs> it's time to be romantic. Uh huh. Say, uh, ah, no, uh, those jeans are molecularly forgiving, you know, or something like that. <laughs> that's a good, to, that's, a, that's yeah. a nice, sweet line to use on a woman. Yeah, suppose uh -huh. the truth, which is, no, what makes you look fat is that big ass of yours, you know. So. <laughs> That's why I think it's important to be romantic. I would never use that line on anybody. It's just about, you know, because guys... <laughs> uh -huh. guys, don't, guys don't know when they're being romantic, do they? Who knows when you're being? Who knows? What guy out there knows? You, in the goofy hat. You. And goes... They're all in goofy hats. What are you talking about? Everyone in our band wears a goofy hat. It's, yeah. <laughs> This whole premise is just going right down the tubes. Well, it's this nice of you to be honest about it. I this think is that... the worst. I know nothing about. Here's what I know is that. Uh... You don't know anything. I don't know anything. You don't know anything about anything, do no, you? No, I do. I'm trying to. I'm trying to tell you that you know guys don't know when they're being romantic because. But women will tell you like three years later. They go, hey, remember? That? Oh my God, that was romantic. Remember mm -hmm. that night? And they go, huh? It was. Oh. I was just hungry, you know? That's why you gotta, you gotta go home. Go home tonight and give your girlfriend a hot, sexy bath. That's what's romantic, a hot, sexy... I'm not saying your girlfriend needs a bath. Okay, I'm just saying a good smelling hot, put on some, you know, Betty Crocker blues albums and let that woman wail and you get her some hot smelling... Anything that smells good, Andy. Uh -huh. Some of that blue stuff that a uh -huh. cone floats in at the barber shop. You put some of that in there and uh -huh. you get some of... Dizzy Gillespie's trumpet spit, and you put that in there, and you get some of that yellow bubbly carpenter's juice from a level, from a level, level leveling juice, so she'll be able to walk straight after you rubbed her down with your hot, sexy babo. <laughs> and you get like a 600-pound Samoan man, and you put him in there, big, 
The Samoans are great squeak toys, and don't let anybody tell you that they're not. They're the, the sexiest. The Samoans are not squeak toys. They're lovely squeak toys, and I love the Samoans. God bless them. Great squeak toys. <laughs> And We're then gonna get you know letters about sexy. that, you know. <laughs> right, go ahead and write them. I love the Samoans. And they're sexy people, too. Uh -huh. Wow. You've done... You know what? You came out here. Uh, we gave you a piece of national uh, television here. You came out here and you informed nobody I about know. nothing. I know. I know. <laughs> you came out here I know. to instruct people. Hey, I'm not selling a cheesy video, okay? <laughs> All right? I don't care. You're selling buttons of steel. Let me tell you something. All credit to Suzanne, <laughs> but I don't have buns of steel, and I'm proud of them. Look at it. These are not buns of steel. Oh, that's all right. Sit down. They're, it's my lap. It's what I use to sit down, and I don't have a washboard stomach, and I've got a brain. I don't, I'm saying that we're evolving into people with washboard stomachs and Trinidad carnival buns of steel, and all we're going to have is hillbilly washboard stomachs and buns of steel, and aliens will take us over and use us for musical instruments. That's what we'll be. We'll be hillbilly washboard stomachs, buns of steel, and I'm fine. Sit down. Put your buns of steel right there, Suzanne. I, you God. Know, she had left. She had left the state of New York when she heard your rant and came running back here. All right. We're kicking him off right now, Suzanne. Don't I, worry. God bless her. She's... <laughs> I mean, I'm all for... I am... I'm such a whore. I'm such a whore, ladies and so gentlemen. So I'm going to tell people where you are so they can find you and beat the crap out of you. Uh, Melbourne... The Melbourne Comedy Festival in Melbourne, Australia, all next month. And I see here... Yeah, well, come find book, me. Yeah. yeah book your tickets now. Come find him. Where and, all, this, uh, all these jokes will go down the toilet in the opposite <laughs> direction. <laughs> Rick Hall, everybody. Oh. We'll take a break. The Legend Jackson's coming up.